Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGym007, and today we look at the Battle Drones plugin. This is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to have a drone above your head that follows you, helps you, and shoots at people. So if we do full slash BD help, that's going to show us all of the commands. And first of all, we're going to check out the shop. So BD shop is going to open it up. Down at the bottom by the flower is going to show you how many coins you have to spend on drones. And then there are different sections. There's energy, kinetic, explosive, protective, and special weapons. So first of all, let's just go ahead and click on one of them. For example, let's go into explosive. And this is going to give you a rocket drone if we were to purchase this for 100 coins. Then there's the machine gun. There is a laser drone. There is a flamethrower drone, which is pretty cool. And if we go into protective, there is two in here, a shield generator and a healing drone. So what we're going to do is click up at the top in the red square. That's going to go into our drones, the one that we have bought. So I haven't bought any protective drones at the moment, but if we go into kinetic, I've bought a machine gun drone. What we can do is middle click and that will take us to another GUI. So on the left we've got monsters, animals and players and you can enable or disable these for your drone to shoot at them. So let's turn them all on. Then if we go to the Emerald we can actually upgrade a drone. I've obviously got it to the max level. And then on the right it shows various parameters such as health, level, damage, ammo, range, etc. Then the top right we can whitelist certain players so we can make sure our friends don't get shot at by the drone. So if we add Steve to the whitelist he is going to be safe from our drone. So if we go back into the machine gun drone section and go into the ammo part, we're going to put in our ammo that I had in my inventory. And then if we left click to activate, it's going to spawn in above our head. It's got a nice hologram. It shouldn't be a Steve head skin. It should actually have its own skin. I don't know why that's not showing at the moment. But as you can see, it is searching for an enemy at the moment. And if we were to walk around, it is going to detect an enemy. Now you can see in chat it says it's out of ammo so it's not actually going to do anything. It's going to lock onto the target but it can't actually shoot at them because we don't have any ammo. So next if we do 4 slash BD and then coins we can actually give ourselves some coins by either doing add or set an amount. So let's give ourselves a thousand coins and that allows us to buy drones. Then if we do 4 slash BD give ammo and then whatever ammo we want. So let's go ahead and grab maybe some laser ammo and the max is 64, the minimum amount is one you can get each time. Let's grab some other ammo, maybe some rockets, um, so we can showcase the rocket drone, which would be pretty cool. So if we go into my drones and activate the rocket drone, let's go ahead and make sure it's got ammo first of all. So there we go, we've got plenty of ammo, and left click to activate, here it is, it's searching for an enemy, and let's see what it will do. So there's a cow, it's detected the enemy and it's gonna fire a rocket. This one fires a lot slower. It's got a really nice smoke particle effect behind the projectile. And as you can see, this is a force to be reckoned with. So that chicken didn't stand a chance against my rocket drone. So this one's got a lot of ammo in it at the moment. So it's gonna shoot all of these mobs for a long time. There's a couple of other commands we can do, such as BD deactivate. Um, you can pick a certain drone, such as the rocket drone, and then how many seconds you want it to be deactivated for. So the rocket drone has been deactivated for 100 seconds. And then you can go ahead and do 4 slash BD save to save any cache data to the database, and BD reload to reload any changes you made in the config file. So that is what it looks like in-game, really awesome. It's a ton of fun, got loads of cool features. Let's hop over to the config file and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel and as you can see there are two folders and some other files. So let's go into the drones folder first of all. And then if we go into this, you can see the different types of drones. And if we click one, let's go for the explosive one. We can see a YML file in here. And then what this is going to do, this is going to have all the information and various things about the rocket drone. So it's gonna have the name, the law, the amount, various positions. And then if we scroll down, we've got each level. So this is level one, how much damage, range, cooldown, etc. cetera, uh, it causes. So you could tweak this if you really wanted to. Um, and then we got some stuff to do with sounds down here. Then we've got level two, and then obviously level three down at the bottom. So you really don't need to mess around with this if you don't want to. Um, it's pretty good how it is already, but you could obviously tweak damages and ranges, etc. So if we go back and then go into the config.yml, in here we're going to find various things such as the health, color, and symbol. 
and we're gonna have this for the ammo as well. If we scroll down, we can have world guard support, and then we can also exclude various entities from being shot at. So villagers, iron golem, silverfish, and the vindicator. You can obviously take them away or add more. Do you want to use vault instead of the coin system? So this is a big one if you want players to actually earn uh, the money themselves instead of just using a command to give someone coins you can use that which would be pretty cool and then what's the max amount of drones that you want do you want hundreds on your server or do you want to minimize it to 10 for example so we've got how often does it save so every 60 minutes and then down here this is the custom head so how the textures get on the drones obviously this wasn't working for me um, but this should be working for you when you download the plugin um, and as you can see you can actually change it um, if you find a different minecraft head that you prefer and you can see they all have different heads so rocket one two and three it changes um, as you level up and then down at the bottom we've got a few warnings when you get low ammo and if your drone gets killed as well so that is pretty much everything in the config files we've obviously got a language file particles and database so you don't need to mess around with that and here we are on the spigot page so you can see it works on 1.15 and 1.16 and this is what the drone should look like in game so hopefully you don't have any issues when you download it and it looks like an actual drone not just steve's head uh, we've got our permissions down here and the commands and then placeholder api can be used as well and if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time mm -hmm.